a question, and I'm, I'm glad that because my briefing was just a little bit different, and I didn't get a chance to see you, so I'm sorry yeah. about that. But I thought that in the, from what I was told on it, that it was going to be used for parking. So it's not being used for parking. They're only closing the alley, the alley just the for safety security. issues. Yes. And what is the business in there? Because I could not figure out what business this was. Is this a business yeah, now? This is what a is the business? For interim parking lots. And what is it? Interim parking lot. That's the name of the? Oh, the name of the business is Gypsy K. Gypsy what? Gypsy K. K for letter K. <laughs> Gypsy K. Yeah, that's What good. is that? Uh, I'm just curious what it is. What that's is the name it? of the corporation. Is that the name of the, the business name? I mean, uh, but what, can it, I guess since we're tabling, can y'all tell me what, uh, that's the name of the company? The but company can you tell name me what is the called, business, what, what are they operating there now? Right now, it's not being operated for any specific purpose. They are in the process of securing permits oh, for an interim parking lot. I don't know why I thought it was, I was thinking that it was a restaurant, so no, it's not a restaurant. No, no. Okay. It, would be, it would be part of the interim parking ordinance. The interim parking ordinance takes what I call moon crater looking places, requires people to create first fencing, lighting, and then um, drainage, drainage and landscaping. The best example of that, Commissioner, would be, well, the, the best example is Miami-Dade College, right across the street from the Miami Arena, maybe a little bit south, one block south. Mm -hmm. They took the interim parking lot ordinance and did exactly what we anticipated created, a, not that you can create a beautiful parking lot, but as close as you can create a beautiful parking lot, it's a beautiful parking lot. Go one block north, yeah. and you have somebody who claims they're grandfathered in. So it looks like moon rock, there's no fence up there, there's no lighting, very lucrative lot when the heat are in the playoffs, or even when they're not in the playoffs, it's just a lucrative lot. So we created something three or four years ago called the Interim Parking Ordinance that said if you want to act and look like in a parking lot, will let you phase yourself in. You can okay. phase in by first putting up the fencing and then we'll let you put up, I think fencing and lighting come first. The very expensive thing is the drainage. I think that comes in the second or third year. Um, and within five years, they, they have come into what we call a regular parking lot, what okay. we require of a new parking lot. So these folks here are asking to close off an unused city uh, we have them all, yeah, alleyway that we don't use. It looks like a crater that looks like the moon and um, be allowed to fence it in. They're agreeing not to use it as a stall for parking and to create security. The interim parking lot, interim parking ordinance has worked reasonably well. We're probably, I don't know how much longer its value lasts because I'd say 70, 65% of the lots have come into compliance. But there's still 25 to 30 percent that, for one reason or another, claim they're grandfathered, claim they don't have to comply with it. And, you know, candidly, I've actually debated in my own mind whether we should continue with the interim parking lot ordinance because it's probably taken 20 percent of my time as commissioner. You know, sitting down with all the parking people down downtown Miami. But we've gotten about 60 to 70 percent better looking parking lots than we had before. I don't seem to be able to cross that threshold anymore. This is the last guy that wants to do this. I think this is close to, am I right? This is close to the PAC, right? Yes. Performing Arts Center. It, this is a pretty cratered looking, moon looking type. Alley. Yeah. Okay. So, we don't take care of it, trust me. <laughs> so, so in other words, that this is the first step to them moving towards putting parking, but this is not for parking now. Th no. This is this is this is something that there are, the city of Miami administration is requiring. Well, let me put it right. Yes, in a strange kind of way, it's the city of Miami administration is requiring for him to have the the requisite fencing around it. He, you couldn't fence like half and then half. It wouldn't make any sense. Okay. So he's asking permission on a temporary basis. Can I fence in your um, Alley. alleyway? And this is what it's here for. Then he turns around, he applies for the interim parking ordinance. I got you. So it's the precursor. This, that would be the set, second step. <clears throat> Correct. To this. Exactly. Okay. And it doesn't come before us. It's just an administrative procedure that um, planning and zoning handles. Okay.